Hello everyone, in this chapter we will be discussing the last type of our reinforced concrete slab systems which is our composite slab system. Now when it comes to our composite slab systems you have kind of a special case happening here where your reinforced concrete slab is actually supported by a steel beams rather than it being supported by reinforced concrete beams. Now we are going to talk about the load transfer that is occurring within our system now basically your composite slab system is a duplicate of your hollow block slab system if you remember when you're with our hollow block slab system we had a topping slab which was supported on our ribs and your ribs were supported on secondary beams your secondary beams were supported on main beams and your main beams were supported on columns it is kind of the same concept here you have a load applied on your topping slab and this load is transferred to your secondary beams and then the load is transferred to your main beams and from your main beams your load is transferred to your columns and finally to your foundation so this is basically how the load is transferred within our composite slab system now a main advantage of this slab system one of its biggest advantages is that instead of considering the inertia here uh, being the inertia of your steel section what's happening is that we are using steel uh, or shear studs in order to control the composite action occurring between our reinforced concrete slab and our steel beams now this this what's happening here is that our beam now is considered to have a top flange which is uh, your reinforced concrete slab and it is connected by this shear stud which is these steel nails here now what are your structural components in your composite slab system we talked about them right now briefly you have your reinforced concrete slab you have your steel beams main and secondary beams and finally you have steel columns or you can have reinforced concrete columns or reinforced concrete walls so this was a very brief introduction to our composite slab system now what we're going to do just like we used to do before we're going to prepare a structure plan convert it into an analytical plan then we are going to start uh, our modeling using our structure software which will not be safe in this case we are going to use etabs the reason for that is that etabs has a built-in uh, information has built-in information for composite slab systems which csi safe does not have so just in this case here we will be using etabs now in our next video we are going to start with our structure uh, with preparing our structure plan so i'll see you then